Let's face it, your mic sucks, but it doesn't have to. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can take your USB or headset mic from sounding like this to sounding like this. Oh, and it's free. Let's start with what you'll need to download to make this happen. Voice meter banana, voice meter cable, and of course, OBS. I prefer to use OBS Studio. And of course, a USB or headset mic. And I'm using my personal favorite right now, the Samson Q2U. I won't go into detail on how you actually download each individual thing, so if you want a video on that, just let me know. So after you download Voice Meter Banana, we're gonna go and open up the app and start doing some work. So the first thing we wanna do is we wanna make sure that our main input source is our mic, which it is right here, the Samson Q2U. Then under Hardware Out, we're actually gonna make sure it's our headset, which we'll click on A1 right here, and we would select whatever our headset is. In this case, I'm not going to change it because then you guys wouldn't be able to hear me. But this will actually let you know what your mic sounds like as you're making these adjustments so you don't go too far with it. So let's start with IntelliPan right here. And what we're going to do is we're just going to kind of bring it over to the level that we think is best. This mic right here has a bit more of a low end to it. So I want to bring a tad bit more high in there. So I'm just going to move it over just slightly to where I think it's good. And you, know, you can get pretty crazy with it. You can bring it all the way up here and get a really wild voice sound going on over over, over here. Uh, but I'm just going to leave it right there. So just add a touch bit more high into it. And basically right here, you just want to find a good setting to get your audio balance. And there are some other effects you could add into this with this IntelliPan part right here. But I just want to keep it simple for this video right now. And ultimately for me with this mic and the way I like to do my mic sounds is I want them to just stay as natural as possible. Now let's go on to EQ. And basically all we have to do is just right click right here where it says EQ. And it'll bring up this little tab right here. Now what you want to do is you want to just start slowly playing with these settings and just kind of gradually add anything to them so you can change and morph the sound of the mic. Like I said, this mic has a bit more low into it, so I want to try to add some more high into it. And I've kind of already adjusted it a bit, so all I'm going to do is I'm just going to turn on my low pass filter and my high pass filter that I've already added. Now keep in mind, once again though, the most important thing is that a little bit can go a long ways. You can really start to make it sound extremely unrealistic if you go too far. And for some people, they may want that, especially if you want more of a broadcast sound or more like a radio sound. I don't want that. I just want it to be natural. I just kind of want it to be warm and, and inviting from the sound from my mic. So once you play with this and you've kind of got it all adjusted and you've kind of got it set to where you like it, the next thing we want to do is we want to close out of this and then we want to look at cable. So the reason why we download a cable and what it's going to do is it's going to work like a virtual cable between voice meter to whatever output source we want. So in this case, we're going to use it as a bridge between voice meter and OBS. So if we didn't have cable, basically OBS would only be able to pick up just our mic itself. So with cable, it's able to bridge that gap. So we have all these adjustments, all these EQ fine tunings that we have right here that can apply into OBS. So we go back to A1, we just click on it right here and then we'll just select cable input right there. And obviously I've already done this. So boom, it is already routing out to OBS for me. Now for the bump part, we're going to hop into OBS and we're going to start setting some filters to our mic. So the first thing we want to do is we want to go to our mic right here. We're going to click on that and click on properties. And we just want to make sure that the device it's picking up is cable. We don't want to pick up the actual input from our mic itself. We wanted to pick up anything else. We just want to make sure that our output is cable right here. So once we make sure of that, we'll hit okay. And now we're ready to add some filters. Now we could honestly just leave it at this if we wanted to, but we want to go the extra mile because we want this stream to sound professional. So let's get into it. So we're gonna add some filters and basically all these are just some things that are preset into OBS that'll help control how our mic actually sounds. So let's click this little cog wheel right here. We're gonna go to filters and let's hit this little plus button and we're gonna start with noise gate. So what noise gate is going to do is help keep that background noise at a very minimal, especially if you're using like a headset mic, they tend to be very sensitive and will pick up just about every single thing you have going in the background. So the key to setting these thresholds over here is to get it to where it won't pick up that background noise, but still open up at the sound of your voice. So just keep playing around until you find that perfect adjustment and you'll be solid. Right? Next, let's add a compressor as we just hit that plus button, we'd go to compressor. So this is going to help her keep our mic from getting too loud and distorted while also keeping us from being too quiet. Now we can close out of here and the last source we want to add is ducking. And this will actually be applied to our other sound sources like my capture card right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit the cog wheel, hit filters, hit this plus button, and we're going to select compressor again. But I'm going to rename it to ducking just so I don't get confused. And then right down here, you can see where it says sidechain ducking source. We select that. And then we have all these different options to choose from. And of course, we want to add it for our mic slash aux. So what this will do is whenever we're talking, it's going to reduce the sound of our game or it's going to reduce to the sound of whatever audio source is coming through that channel right there. 
So that way our mic can cut through a lot better, okay? especially if you have like a cheaper mic or if you're using some USB mics, they can tend to not cut through too well. So this really helps it push through. That way your audio can be heard just fine. And then when you stop talking, your game volume goes back to normal. Now with these EQ settings and filters added, we have a mic that sounds like this. Not too bad, right? And this can be applied to any mic. Let's try it out with this headset right here, the HyperX Cloud 2s. So as you can hear, the mic is just meh. Definitely not preferred for streaming and really not a, just a great listening experience for most people. But we can change that. With just a few simple tweaks, we have a mic that sounds like this. Not too bad, right? Like I said, it just takes a little bit of time, a little bit of effort, and you can make literally any mic sound a lot better and a lot more enjoyable, especially if you're using it for your Twitch streams. And one final note is that Voice Meter Banana is a very robust software. There's so much to explore and to create within it. I will have download links below for every bit of software I talked about in this video, as well as all the equipment I'm using right here. But make sure you check out this video next, and we'll catch you next time.